welcome to Vlogonica and also episode three of Surgery 2 5K. Because I'm training to do 5K from having two surgeries this year. That's right. So, where are we at? I guess the biggest thing is I am running. I am running. So far, the journey has been me working on my core, working on my abs and doing all of these like floor, like Pilates style exercises in order just to get some of my core strength back. But now I made the leap and I am running. I am running every other day and I've vlogged a whole bunch of it. So I'm just going to let vloggy past Hannah take it away. Good morning. So I got a delivery notice and I wanna go and pick these things up. The post office place is about a 15 minute walk away, but I'm gonna try and light jog it because I'm feeling good. Let's go. I got the parcel, but I didn't run all the way there. I did not realize how hard this would be. Oh my goodness. I like left the house, I was like jogging, I felt great. I was like smiling so much and tears in my eyes, genuine tears in my eyes. I was so happy to be running. And I stopped about two thirds of the way because I had a stitch on my stoma side. And then also just my legs couldn't carry me. What I have learned from this is that yes, still need to work on the core, obviously, but if I'm gonna run a 5K, <laughs> I need to work on my legs. Oh man, I couldn't even do like a five minute jog. <gasps> it's fine. It's fine, we've got a long way to go, long way to go. My body is not up for more exercises, but what I am gonna do is stretch. I'm not sure when I'm gonna try another run. That was more difficult than I thought. Maybe I'll do one of those runs where it's like, um, you run for a bit, walk, run for a bit and walk. Um, I think that is the way to build. I think that's what they recommend in the couch to 5K thing. So maybe I'll actually have a look at what couch to 5K is. I'm just naming my series after it. I'm not actually doing it, but maybe I should. <laughs> also, look, I am blonde. Like, this is blonde hair. I get really upset when people call me a brunette because I, like, identify as a blonde. And, like, look at that. So, what I have discovered from this morning is that I need to practice running. <laughs> and I should probably just do the couch to 5K thing. I should just do my series is namesake because that's an NHS thing there's an app so I downloaded the app it really builds you up so like run one is warm up five minute walk and then run 60 seconds walk 90 seconds and then you repeat that seven times and once you hit run now you put your headphones in and they talk you through it so you don't have to keep checking your phone for the time I was talking to my mum on the phone earlier and she was like have you ever done couch to 5k before and i was like no because i've never been on the couch i've always just done 5k and so i think that's the frustrating thing for me is that i'm literally starting from square one again hello i'm laura welcome to week one of couch to 5k <sighs> i have to say these things are incredible for running when I was running before, I still had the headphones that had the wires and stuff. And this is just so much better, so much better. So I was supposed to start week two of my runs this morning. However, didn't have a lot of sleep and feeling quite hungover. I've just got home and I could very easily just crawl back into some pajamas and work on my laptop for the rest of the afternoon. I'm gonna do this. I'm filming this right now to hold myself accountable and go for a run, even with this full face of makeup on. So I'm getting ready, but there's one thing that I thought I should update you on from my runs in week one, is that I'm using my support belt. The first run was fine, but then 10 minutes into my second run, I was like, no, this is 
not gonna happen. And I just felt like I needed the support. I was running and like trying to hold myself in and it just wasn't good. So I like jogged, slash walked back home and then grabbed this and put this on and just immediately felt better. So now I'm using this for all of my runs. And then I also wear my compression vest over the top of it and then whatever else I'm wearing. And this is my industrial sports bra. We're doing this, we're going for a run. Ah, I'm back and I'm stretching. I feel good, I'm so glad I did that. That always happens with exercise. You're like, no, and then you do it and you're like, of course, it was great. But I am exhausted now and I've got lots of work to do. Okay. So I've just done my second run where there are like three minute runs in it. And the first time, whew, it was difficult. Like that jump was definitely like, one of the hardest and today was much easier still like oh but it was good i can now run for three minutes straight so exciting so what i've done is i figured out if i run every other day and accounting for a few days where i'm away which day like when i will be ready to run 5k i am officially aiming for the 15th of december Hello again. <laughs> so that is where I am at. I am having such a good time running and like actually seeing my improvements every week. I've done a bit more since those last clips. So I am now running for five minutes continuously. Whew. Whew. I just need to be able to run for 30 minutes continuously. Whew. But we started at zero, so. This is really good. What I will say though, is that because I'm running every other day, I've actually gotten really crap at doing any core exercises. So if it's a running day, I'm like, I did my exercises today. Ugh, ugh. And then on non-running days, I've just gotten really bad at doing the exercises. But one thing that I have started doing is I searched for postnatal Pilates classes because I was told that a woman who has just given birth or like had a c-section is probably in a similar kind of weakness <laughs> to me so actually watching a youtube video and someone like instructing you through doing the exercises is much better for me than being like self motivating in order to do the exercises um and when i have done that i've just done a session in the morning rather than like the short exercises at three points during the day. The only weird thing about that is that the instructor is often like, oh, isn't it hard being a parent? And like, oh, labor takes the toll on the body. And I'm like, can't relate. <laughs> but yes, I will keep you updated. As I said, I am still planning, I'm still aiming for before Christmas. I really wanna hit this goal before the end of this year, but you might not see a video of it until January, we'll see you know, I wanna take a break over Christmas from filming and all of that stuff. But there is going to be another episode of this series because I'm filming a video with a physiotherapist, yay! As of me filming this, I have one run left in week four of the Couch to 5K program. And by the time you're watching this, I'll be in week seven. That's just giving you an idea of how early I prep vlog and videos. <laughs> so let's see what is in store for me, week seven. Okay, week seven, oh my God. So week seven, I'm going to be doing just a straight 25 minute run. Wow, is that for every day in week seven? Yeah, yeah, okay. Damn, that's interesting. <laughs> Tweet me, see how I'm doing. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you believe I can hit this 5K before Christmas. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope that you are enjoying Vlognica and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.